What is up, Pisces? Welcome to your general timeless reading. This is for all Pisces placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't force it to fit. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jordan. If not, welcome back. I'm a master Reiki practitioner and shamanic and spiritual life coach. So check out my website down below in the description box for personal bookings and check out Patreon for your weekly love reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you. Pisces, temperance in reverse. Okay, interesting. Pisces. Okay, no, you, no. <laughs> Very evident. You're just like, no, I'm done with it. I don't want to reconcile. It's in the past. That's fine with me. Let it go. I actually like this energy for you. It feels very, feels healthy. I feel like I'm saying that so much this week for the zodiac signs, but I love that. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're still teeter tottering. If it was the right decision, it does feel like the right decision. With Temperance being in reverse, this is divine energy. Ten of Pentacles being in reverse speaks to it not being stable, not being something grounded, or that can last the test of time. The 10 minus the two tells me that there was a eight of pentacles in reverse present, meaning that there was a lack of diligence or um, like almost like structured approach to keeping this state, this foundation stable. Okay. There wasn't dedication is how I would put it. Yeah. What else do we have? For, okay. So now we have some other energy coming in. This is the future energy for you. I don't really do past, present, future spreads. I'm a very intuitive reader. Yeah. Knight of swords, high priestess. Gemini, uh, Pisces, Neptune energy with the High Priestess. I think I already said that Temperance is Sag. Um, with the Knight of Swords and the High Priest, okay, you are very much so in your thought. It's almost like you know what you're going to do. You're going to go do it. You're not going to tell people about it. You're gonna, going to create a Ten of Pentacles for yourself. Yes, you are. The Moon, Cancer energy. I love this for you. Ace of Swords. I feel like you're walking into your purpose right now, and I really love that. The Ace of Swords in reverse actually doesn't even feel bad. It feels more so like I know my truth, and I don't need to share it with all of you. I'm going to do what I want to do, and I don't need anybody's approval to do it. I like this. You're walking away from things that don't support what it is that you need in your life. It's very healthy. It's very healthy. It's kind of like I don't need to advertise every step I make. Nope, I can do it just because I want to, and that's okay. I like this. This is good. Good stuff, Pisces. Good stuff. Okay, so let's look at... Let's look at temperance. Temperance. We have the seven of wands, and then we have the lovers, and we also have the hermit in reverse. Yeah, you're leaving behind relationships that don't support your growth. That don't support your growth or the direction you're moving in. You're setting really healthy boundaries. Lovers is Gemini, the Hermit is Virgo, a lot of mercurial energy. Mercury is the mind, communication, thought, perception, intellect. I really like that you have a lot of mercurial energy here because it tells me that you're analyzing these situations in a very clear way, especially with the High Priestess and the Moon in reverse. It speaks to having deep clarity of the subconscious and your intuition. So it means that as much as I would like to heal or reconcile with these people, there's a part of me that knows that it's no longer in alignment with me and that's okay. I can love somebody, but also acknowledge it's time to walk away. You're really learning to protect your energy and protect your peace and start doing things that support the version of you that you are building. Okay, I keep hearing Maryland, so this might be more so for somebody in Maryland, or you might be thinking of moving up north. I think some of you might even be thinking about buying lots of land. When I hear Maryland, I think of farms. That's just like a personal connotation I have with it. Uh, family, right? Um, I do think a lot of you might be... I feel like somebody's going to get a lot of land, or you're going to inherit a lot of land. Um, that was just like a, outside the reading, but take it if it resonates for you. With the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles... There's more to come. Okay, we're getting into, okay. It, sorry, it's getting away from this spread. So if you recently had somebody who passed and you're going through an inheritance, I feel like you might be um, kind of shocked by what you do get. You might've been expecting more, but what you're getting from this inheritance is actually really gonna support you in the direction that your life needs to move. So if you're gonna suddenly move as well, Regardless of if somebody's passed and you get an inheritance or not, just in general, some of you are really going to just pick up and move. There needs to be a shift in the foundation. And so you might think that this is a struggle or it's difficult or it's hard. It's actually happening to benefit you. Yeah. So if you have a sudden move, yeah, six of cups in reverse. And I think a lot of this has to do with just with the old, getting rid of the old. Because spaces, if like they hold energy, like actual ground, the earth holds energy. 
there's a need for you to shift the location that you're currently at. So if you're going to move, you're going to relocate because of your job or just because you need to get away from somebody if it was really toxic or abusive, this is a really good time to do that. You're being really supported in it. And I do think that you're going to really thrive with it. Yeah. Three of cups. You're going to, yeah, you're moving away from anybody that creates conflict or, um, feeds limiting beliefs that are not healthy for you. I feel like you're going to go through a really big change. Yeah, six of wands. Yeah, you're not seeking recognition externally anymore. Yeah. With judgment there, I was about to say, yeah. With judgment there in reverse, it's almost like I know I'm making the right decision. And in the past, I used to run it by people because the six of wands is like someone saying, hey, look what I did. Give me a round of applause. Next to judgment, it's like, hey, look what I did. Should I keep doing this? Is that okay? Do you think I should? You're done doing that. You're not asking for other people's approval. You're just like, I'm going to find out myself. I'm going to do it. I'm going to explore it. I'm going to have fun with it. You're becoming a student again. You're going to have a lot of new energy come in. I feel like some of you are really going to take some good like hermit time, like really go within, and you're going to start attracting some really healthy, abundant relationships, which is real. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. There they are. And temperance. There's the healing. Two of Pentacles. You make the decision to commit to yourself, and that's when your foundation improves. For those of you that are moving, you're going to move and you're going to find so much freedom in this new space that it makes you feel really stable. I feel like a lot of you, if you're moving, you're going to relocate to a space that like the air moves through more. So this could be a home with more light. You could be living more like on land if you you live in inner city um this feels like getting to a physical location where your health starts to improve because you start to feel good within yourself this is healthy this is good this feels like a really big emotional release is going to come because as we get closer to the moon i get more emotional which tells me that your nervous system is going to start to regulate and you might wonder like oh my god like why do i feel this need to cry the reason being is if you've been fight or flight for a long time from like toxic gaslighting, abusive relationships, or just things that are unstable or keep you really hyper vigilant, you're moving to a place, whether it be mentally, emotionally, or physically, where you can finally breathe, where you get away from these energies and you can really see very clearly the truth of your own energy, right? It's very nice. Very nice. I like this for you. Let's look at the moon. Yeah, you're seeing very clearly the parts of you that were not authentic, the parts of you, because the page of cups in reverse, page of cups is my card of authenticity. So in reverse, it tells me that the way in which you thought your authentic you was, it actually isn't. And you're seeing it clearly because the seven of cups is Neptune, uprights, confusion, distortion, too many options, right? What is it? In reverse, it's clarity. Like, oh my gosh, I know what I want. I know that what I thought I wanted isn't for me anymore because I've changed and that's a good thing. Let's look at the Ace of Swords and the overall Knight of Swords. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you might, yeah, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. I was about to say, I feel like some of you might move, quit a job or just make a really big shift in your own life and not tell people that you're gonna do it. You're just gonna do it and that will be the end of it. I like this for you. You're taking your power back in a sense. You're, you're taking control of your life instead of leaving it at the mercy of the opinions or perspective of somebody else who my opinion and my perspective and your opinion and your perspective are going to be completely different because our life experience is different. So the glasses and lenses I see through day to day are going to be much different than the glasses and lenses you see through every day. Okay. You're done sharing that kind of information with others. You're gonna really learn to trust yourself more. It's a very, very rewarding lesson. I love this card. This is the best card. It really is. Bottom of the deck, you have the heart chakra in reverse. It's time for self-care. This tells me that you are shifting more into an emotional space. So as we no longer disassociate, because we're just going to call it what it is, this feels like disassociation, this chaos, this conflict, these old relationships. And it feels like as you start to feel more safe in your physical experience, you start to ground in the here and now. You have the doorkeeper. I love this card because even in the book, the upright and reverse meaning are the same. Sorry, let me fix this lighting for you. Discernment is key. It's time to decide who gets access to you. I love that you have this card because this card not only talks about the discernment you have with the people in your physical reality, but it also talks about your discernment with spirit. So for instance, like if you're like myself, 
you have mediumship and you're walking out in public with friends and family you just don't want to be talking to people from the other side the whole time or start to feel that overwhelming energy that's where this is speaking to it's speaking to learning to bring yourself into the physical how to regulate your own nervous system how to protect and shield your energy and really practice that on a spiritual level but also practice it on a physical level in this physical experience so being discerning with what information you share with people being discerning with what people you allowed into your space into your physical vessel right we're talking intimacy here people just to like be really blunt about it it's understanding that everything that you encounter is sacred Everybody on this planet is sacred, but our space is sacred. So this office, my sacred space, this vessel, my sacred space, this mind, my sacred space, mine, 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 mine. You get to be selfish with it. You get to decide who gets access to those spaces. You're learning to really solidify that in your life and start to live by it. Instead of saying, oh, well, I like them, so let me sleep with them. No, no, <laughs> no. Mm -mm. <laughs> You don't need to do that. You get to decide. You do not have to let people into your physical space, physically, your physical space in a room or your mental, emotional space until you know that you are ready to. You get to choose, right? But don't be complacent and keep yourself inside your comfort zone just because it's comfortable. Challenge yourself to grow and evolve. Challenge yourself to be vulnerable when it comes to communication at least, right? Everything with reason, right? With moderation. But Pisces, this is what I have for you. Please like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Also, check out my Patreon channel down below. That's where you can find your love reading, where we look into your person's feelings, the action they're gonna take, the current obstacle, and the advice from spirit. I uh, keep these readings around five minutes each. There's one for every zodiac sign, and you get one every week. That is what Patreon is. It's a monthly subscription, so go ahead and check it out. And if you want a personal booking or a Reiki session, you'd like to become certified as a Reiki practitioner, check out my four and six month long mentorship program. I certify you in all three levels of Reiki and or quantum shamanic healing. So go ahead, check that out. It's offered globally, whether you're local to North Carolina or not. And I also do single day certifications, one-on-one -on -one and classes. My classes for Reiki certifications are in person. They start in September. So if you're interested in becoming an energy healer, go ahead, check that out. I'd love to work with you. If you're not local, check out the single day crash courses. I've done plenty of certifications via Zoom. And yeah, check it out. I love you. I wish you the best. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.